coming along on a build. I've got the sides bent and uh, all the uh, um, reverse kerf lining glued in. And now I'm going to work on putting on the gluing on the marriage strip or the back graft. Uh, I'm going to use hot high glue. And I'm just going to already I've set it up where I have a uh, a drafting part of a drafting rule here. I have it clamped down so it's my edge guide so I know exactly where to slide it at in center. And then I'll be using uh, a metal scale rule to. Uh, Put on top is a claw and, and glue it down with and let's do it. I should do it. I'll let that settle on. I'll open it up and uh, start cleaning off the, any of the glue. Squeeze out. Once that gels in a few minutes, I get what I can now with the sponge. I removed this uh, scale rule. It was a little bit too wide. It wasn't giving me a good. I couldn't see real good. And I replaced it with these little. They look like IBS roll, little rollers, little metal rollers. Uh, I gave them a Harbor Freight because I keep misplacing them. But I had three of them. I just laid them down as a, as a call, and uh, did that. And then I cleaned off uh, some of the squeeze out with a little bit of a sponge, and with my. Uh, homemade curved chisel for cleaning glue. It's a screwdriver, another thing from Harbor Freight. A screwdriver that I uh, ground a, uh, a, a a tip to a point, like a chisel. And I'm gonna try to get a torch later and heat this and make it more of a rounded than a, just a, but it gets in there and it works. Put up a little bit of glue that was still there. I guess we get it sharp enough. Eh, eh, it works for now. Okay, let's see what we got. Mm-hmm. 
That's it. A little bit of sanding and scraping. Maybe the razor blade. Sanding should clean up nice. There it is, cleaned up. Nice and fancy, should look good through the sound hole. Well, this is where I stand on the rest of it. I have a new template made up and uh, I've got all the kerfing in, the kerf lining, reverse kerfing in this case. Uh, take a closer look. Remove the template. I'll be making a few more of these for uh, other things. There's the tail block. The pieces of kerfing that are missing here is because that's where the inserts will go for the beveled armrest and the beveled rib rest somewhere in there. The, the uh, neck block will get another section on the front which will hold the captured barrel nut for the uh, Doolin neck joint and the sides will be 45 a little bit more. And I also have from where this will be beveled more and the cap will be on. There will also be rods going from here, carbon fiber rods down oops, to uh, here. I'll probably put another piece of type of blocking or heavier duty for the, uh, the buttresses. Probably cap that with a piece of walnut. But uh, that's where I stand so far. It's coming along. The next step of making the inserts will be a little... A little more time consuming for me since I'm doing uh, a new a new method trying it out okay that's where I stand so far in the build uh, I'll be making a couple more little short videos as I go along if I do anything that might be of interest the show um, so see you next time happy building <laughs>